Welcome, dear students, from the Iraqi Educational Channel with a, a quick revision for the material that you have taken in the first course. مرحبا بكم أعزائي الطلبة ومراجعة لمادة الكورس الأول. Uh, welcome to our supervisor, Mr. Qasim Salman. Thank you, Mrs. Zinam, and thanks a lot for our students for being with us. Yes. Yeah. Now, uh, we have today our students from uh, Baghdad College. Now, special welcome for our students that will attend our lesson for today. You are very welcome. What do we have in uh, our lesson for today? The first thing is that we have the present simple, the present simple, okay, present simple and the present continuous. Al mudara al basit wa al mudara al mustamar. Now we have to complete the rule. We use the present continuous for what? For something happening right now. إذا نستعمل شنو أعزائي الطلبة نستعمل المضارع المستمر للحديث عن أشياء حدثت right now okay what what do we mean by right now ماذا نعني ب right now مصطفى علي what can we what do we mean by right now مصطفى can you hear me تسمعني okay who can hear me who can answer the question what do you mean by right okay. now? المضارع المستمر. Yes. وقاص. No, the time of the speaking. That's right. At the time of uh, the speech. في لحظة الكلام. Okay. At the right moment. في هذه اللحظة. Can we use other things to express the present continuous tense? Yes, we can. What can we use? Can we use now? Can we use now? نستعمل now? طبعا أكيد نستعمل now. That's right. Very good. Ali Haider at uh, the moment and so on. So we have the present continuous for something happening yes, right uh, now. Excuse me, Mrs. Yes. Inam. Yes. We can ask our uh, students, uh, all of them, yani, yes. not only with us, with the Zoom. Yes. Uh, what do you mean by uh, the present continuous and how mm. can I use this tense? Mm. Okay. Mm. And what are the main adverbs to be used uh, with this tense? Okay. Yeah. Can you tell us? What do as, mean by as it is a review unit. As it yes. is a review. Yeah. Yes. Because you have taken uh, the material, لأنه أخذت كل المادة سابقا فأكيد هسا إحنا تنسوي مراجعة عامة فتعرفون شو يعني المضارع المستمر شو وقت أستخدم المضارع المستمر مثل ما قلنا إنه نستخدمه للحديث عن أشياء تحدث في لحظة الكلام تمام وقلنا إنه نستخدم now at the moment right now now what about the simple present خلي نحكي عن المضارع البسيط شنو ماذا نقصد ب what do we mean by the simple present who can answer the question who can answer me uh, yes please present simple the present simple present means simple what about scientific part that's right so it means المضارع البسيط to speak about scientific facts excellent اللي هي yes. what do we mean by scientific facts الحقائق uh, for example العلمي that's right routines excellent yeah. yes so, can you give me an example? Just like what? Can you give me an example? Uh, sun shines uh, from the earth. That's right. The sun shines. استخدمت shines. استخدمت shines. ضفت للفعل أسل شخص الثالث. لأنه شنو عندي المضارع البسيط. وهسا راح نسوي quick revision for these two tenses. Now, come with me to the smart board. We have... We use the present simple, المضارع البسيط, for permanent situations, المواقف الثابتة, and things that happen regularly, والأشياء so, اللي تحدث regularly بانتظام. Now we can mention them one by one, okay, yes. as our students with us, okay? Yes. Why do we use, يعني, uh, how can I use the present continuous? Yes. To express, for example, about something happens frequently or or infrequently, yes. just to make a kind of what? Of uh, a kind of c comparison. Yeah, no, to differentiate between them and yes. to say something about routine so, and habits and many other different so things. So let's begin with the simple yeah. present and then we will continue. Now, the present simple, mudara al basit in the affirmative form, fi al muthbata, the third person singular ends in S. Astaghdim. I, we, you, they, yakun ma'aha al fa'il mujarrad min kull al idafat. He, she, it, أضيف للفعل أس الشخص الثالث. So I can say I drive, 
She drives, I go, but he goes. I do, but it does. ده شوفون إنه ال I we you they يكون معها الفعل مجردا من كل الإضافات. أما هي she it نضيف للفعل أس الشخص الثالث عند استعمال المضارع البسيط. Now use the present simple to talk about habits the habits. Routines يعني الأشياء الروتينية المتكررة اللي تحدث يوميا. Okay and permanent situations والمواقف الثابتة في الحياة. Let's see the examples. We, الفعل مجرد, we take the bus to school. We have he, الفعل يضاف لأس الشخص الثالث. We have he works in a bank. في حالة السؤال نقدم الفعل المساعد على الفاعل. ممكن أن أقدم do, do you, do they, or does, does he, does she, or does it. So we have does. Your grandmother, اللي هي singular مفرد, like فعل مجرد chocolate. Now let me ask you a question. Can we use does with verb that ends with s in the same sentence بنفس الجملة? هل نستطيع استخدام does و s الشخص الثالث بنفس الجملة? No, no, we can't. Excellent. So we can't use does with the s. Uh, with a verb that ends with S, the third uh, person singular. مع S الشخص الثالث. إما الداز موجودة أو شنو أو ال S موجودة. أحسنتم. So why we, why we put S for the verb? Yes. Yeah, why we put this? When, whenever we have he, she, it, نسميها S الغائب الشخص الثالث. Okay. Uh, uh, نستعمل S الشخص الثالث لي. Am I right? Yeah, you are excellent. Okay, and there is a close you. relation between the subject and the verb. Yes. When I say it's a singular, we use the S. Many call the third person singular. That's yeah. right. If we use the S, the third person singular. If the third person singular. Use the present simple with adverbs of frequency. Now, let me ask you, what do we mean by adverbs of frequency? Adverbs of frequency means? What do we mean by adverbs of frequency? Yes? Yes, please, Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Naam, ظروف التكرار. أحسنت ظروف التكرار. Adverbs of frequency. Now, what are they? Just like what? Can you tell me what cause? Yes, always, often. That's right. Thank you. What about? What about usually? Excellent. Al Hassan, do you have any other adverb of frequency? Do you have any other adverb frequency? Just like generally, we have every. تمام. هذه كلها شن سميها adverbs of frequency. ظروف التكرار. طيب. Go with me to the smart board again. Let's see what do we have. Use the present simple with adverbs of frequency مع ظروف التكرار. Like what? Always, دائما. Usually, عادة. طبعا بالأفلام شوفوها usually. The accent of the street. Sometimes, أحيانا, never, whatever, أبدا, every day, كل يوم, once a month, مرة واحدة في الشهر, twice a year, وهكذا. So we have, I visit, هنا visit فعل مجرد من كل الإضافات, لأنه عندي الضمير, I. So I visit my cousins twice a year. She, لاحظوا twice a year, وين جتي في نهاية الجملة. إذا كان عندي فاعل وفعل رئيسي, ظرف التكرار يكون بينهما. So I can say she usually gets up every uh, very early. إذا وضعنا ال usually between بين الفاعل والفعل الرئيسي. Now, do children always wear a school uniform زي موحد in Iraq? لاحظوا وضع ظرف التكرار اللي هو always بين الفاعل children والفعل الرئيسي اللي هو where now if we have verb to be إذا كان لدينا verb to be verb to be means am is are ظرف التكرار يأتي بعدهم just like what just like she is always busy She is always busy. The shufun is the verb to be. 
وضعنا ظرف التكرار always بعد بعد verb to be تمام then what do we have Uh, use the present simple to talk about scientific and general facts. الحقائق العلمية والحقائق الثابتة. So we have water. Water freezes at zero degree centigrade. هذه حقيقة علمية. وانتبهوا إنه الفاعل water إذا ضفنا أس الشخص الثالث للفعل. Dates جمع إذا الفعل يكون مجرد من الإضافات. They grow on palm trees. The sun في حالة النفي sun مفرد إذا استخدمنا doesn't وفعل مجرد doesn't go around the earth and so on. Present continuous we use the present continuous to talk about actions that are happening at the moment مثل ما خبرونا طلابنا الأعزاء إنه استخدمنا ب أحد أشياء تحدث at the moment في هذه اللحظة. So you see here, shh, my baby brother is sleeping. إذا يوصف المضارع المستمر بوجود أفعال مساعدة. Am, is, are, plus what, plus verb with ing. لازم يكون عندي فعل ينتهي بال ing. Just like Uh, my baby brother is sleeping. Am I? في حالة السؤال أقدم الفعل على الفاعل disturbing you. Who is making? تشوفون? Who is making that trouble? That terrible noise upstairs. Terrible. فظيعة. We can also use the present continuous to talk about things that are happening in the current period of time. Things that are happening in the current uh, period يعني في لحظة الكلام في الوقت اللي دي يجري الآن So we are explaining English now, right? احنا دي نشرح شنو لغة إنجليزية الآن So it's present continuous مضارع مستمر Now, some verbs are not usually used in the present continuous أكو عندي أفعال لا أستطيع أن أستخدمها في زمن المضارع المستمر. Can you tell me what are the verbs that we can't use ing with them? Just like what? Love. Love. That's right. No. Understand. That's it. So, excellent. Uh, our students, we have special verbs that we can't use ing with them. تمام؟ هسه راح نرجع أه أه نشوف شنو هذه الافعال اوكي كم وذ مي ناو سم فيربس ار نوت يوزوالي يوز ان ذا بريزنت كونتينوس جست لايك وات ناو يعرف لايك لاف نيد يحتاج وونت مين كام فروم يوز ذا بريزنت سمبل ان ستيد بما انه لا استطيع استخدام المضارع المستمر معها إذا أستخدم المضارع البسيط بدلا من المضارع المستمر. Now pay attention. Do you know؟ تشوفون إنه استخدمت know مع المضارع البسيط فسألت بالفعل المساعد اللي هو do. I don't like sad stories. What does this word mean؟ تشوفون الأفعال؟ know, like, mean, and here where does Uh, شاكيرا come from we have come from فهذه الأفعال كلية استخدمت بها زمن المضارع البسيط بدلا من المضارع المستمر now we have to circle the correct word to complete the sentences now dear students look at the first one who she speaks or is she speaking or does she speak to on her mobile what do you think What do you think the answer is? Exercise A. Exercise C. Again, please. As she is speaking. Okay, so who is who is she speaking? Okay, to on her mobile. She is getting very angry. Now look at the other one. Do you use? Does she use, are you using your English grammar book 
at the moment ما دام عندي at the moment إذا أستخدم نستخدم are you excellent that's right so we have are you using we often انتبهوا هنا شنو عندي ظرف تكرار إذا راح أستخدم seeing are you seeing or see فؤاد of course that's right we have see فؤاد in the past with his brother and so on do you have any question for using no. the uh, present uh, simple and present continuous? No. no. Is there any no. question? Now, you no. can use no. the present continuous and simple present tense in the right way. Okay? ذكرنا إنه نستخدم أكو أفعال معينة نستخدمها في المضارع البسيط دائم. Just like what? Um, can you give me, can you give me a sentence that, uh, yes, that excuse me. have the present continuous in it? Yes, please. Excuse me, Mrs. Yes. You can ask them what is the difference between the simple and the continuous one with the present, okay? Okay, so what's the difference between the simple uh, present the and the present continuous? That, yes? Uh, verb that happens at the moment of the speech. That's right. How can we form the sentence? Sean, ممكن أن نصيغ الجملة? Subject plus uh, verb with ing. Uh, no, uh, is. That's uh, right. Am, are, yes, am, is, ing. are, and then we have verb with ing. Excellent. What about the simple present? Uh, what about the simple present? Okay, thank you. Uh, 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 thank you very much. Now, I want another one. Zaid, can you tell me? He, he is plus verb with half s. Okay, Mohammed. Because. Uh, that's it. Excellent. Excellent. You, we, verb base. Shrahi kun mujarrat bin kulli al idafat. Yani we can say, excuse me, Mr. Naam, what are the main cases? What are the main cases to be used with the simple present? I want you to mention them one by one, please. Okay? Yeah. The present simple? Yeah, the present one. So what do we have? We use the present simple with what? Permanent situations, right? Adverbs of frequency. Okay. Now, what about habits? Which which tense can we use with the habits? Present continuous or simple? Excellent. That's right. Excellent. So we have present simple with habits, with permanent situations, with the facts, scientific facts, and so on. Okay. Is it clear now? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. thanks a lot. Now, let's complete the revision. What do we have also? Let's see in the smart board. This is also about what? Mumkin an yati su'al bil imtihan wa correct the verb or correct the tense of the verb. Sahih al fa'il. What do we have here? Pay attention. Please be quiet. I try to do what my math homework. Please be quiet. يعني في لحظة الكلام الآن كن هادئا. So we have I. The I تأخذ فعل مساعد اللي هو شنو am. After am, we have verb with what? With I am. So I'm trying. What time? In this sentence, we have usually. So one of what adverbs of frequency? واحد من ظروف التكرار هذا دليل على إنه جملتي راح تكون بالمضارع البسيط اذا what time does الفاعل هي usually ظرف التكرار تكملة الجملة get home from work yeah. and so on now we have a question tags right uh, sorry short answers short answers look here complete the short answers الأجوبة القصيرة قبل قليل ذكرنا أن الأسئلة التي تبدأ بأفعال مساعدة الإجابة تكون yes أو no فاعل ثم نفس الفعل المستخدم بالسؤال So we have Are you enjoying your course? الإجابة إذا كانت yes انتبهوا دائما ال yes وال no نضع بعدها كما فارزة الضمير نحول ال you إلى I, I دائما تأخذ معها الفعل المساعد اللي هو am. So yes, I am. Now let's see another one. 
Do you know Bilal? If we want to answer with no, no, you, I will have a I. بما إنه عندي no, إذا الفعل يكون منفي. No, I don't. Are you eating at the moment? والسؤال باستخدام are. إذا no, we aren't or no, we are not. ممكن الشكل المختصر وممكن العادي. Is your mobile ringing? Yes, it is. And so on. هذه باستخدام ال short answers. Now you have a question which depends on the meanings of words. And you, يعتمد على معاني الكلمات. يسمى السؤال الإسقاطات. ينطيني كلمات وعليا أن أرتبها بشكلها الصحيح بالجمل حسب معناها. What do we have here? Just like cat. طبعا هذا dialogue. يحت عندنا كلمات cat, hand, tree, accident. أول شيء علي أن أعرف معاني هذه المفردات. cat أكيد تعرفوها قطة hand يد. tree شجرة accident حادث. hate يكره help يساعد serious خطير أو جدي. Hello mom. Uh, I've got a problem. لدي مشكلة. What's the matter, Hadi? I've had a scooter. What? We have accident. Oh no, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay, mom. Honestly, have you hurt yourself? Not really. I haven't <coughs> hurt myself badly. I've only broken my glasses and cut my. What do we have here? We have cat or hand. What do you think? So, of course. The, uh, the answer will be what? Will be cut my hand. Cut my hand بمعنى جرحت يدي. مو قطعتها جرحت يدي. Uh, oh, Hadi, really? I really hate that scooter of yours. Mom, please calm down. اهدئي. It's not very serious. يعني الأمر ليس جدي. يعني مو كلش خطير. Okay? How did it happen? A... Uh, Cat ran in front of the scooter. I tried to stop, but the road was wet, and I crashed into a tree. اصطدمت بالسيارة بالشجرة tree. I'm coming to help you now. Where exactly are you? هذه ال المفردات اللي استخدمتها بسؤال الإسقاطات. تمام ماما ممكن أن يجيني كلمات علي أن أعرف معاني هذه الكلمات والكلمات أكيد كلها من مادة الكتاب اللي داخلة بالكورس الأول وعلي أن أرتبها بالجمل Now what do we have also Present perfect simple and past simple Present perfect simple بمعنى المضارع التام البسيط و past simple بمعنى الماضي البسيط. Let's see the rule. لنرى القاعدة. We use نستطيع أن نستعمل the past simple الماضي البسيط. Why? To talk about an action that started and ended in the past. بدأ وانتهى بالماضي. بدأ وانتهى بالماضي هذا شنو زمن الماضي البسيط. We use the present perfect. المضارع التام البسيط when an action started in the past الحدث بدأ بالماضي لكن and still has an effect now ولديه تأثير الآن تأثيره ممكن أن أرى الآن نأتي على استخدام الزمني past simple tense هو الماضي البسيط جمل الماضي البسيط تصاغ ب subject ثم verb فعل هذا الفعل ممكن يكون regular وممكن يكون شنو irregular تمام كنا نعرف زمن الماضي البسيط شنو سمينا الماضي البسيط simple past tense ماضي بسيط simple past tense now how can we form the sentence شون ممكن أن نصيغ جملة الماضي البسيط كل جملنا باللغة الإنجليزية بيش تبدي تبدي بشنو حيدر بيش تبدي علي حيدر الجملة تبدأ ب Subject that's right بالفاعل بعد الفاعل شنو عندي فعل الفعل في زمن الماضي البسيط 
ايش راح يكون؟ اما لا اكسلنت ذات رايت اما ينتهي بالدي او الاي دي وهنا راح يكون ريجولار او يكون الريجولار اللي هو من الافعال الشاذه وعلي ان احفظ تصاريف الافعال مثلا عندنا الفعل سي وسباس فورم اوف سي شنو الفعل الماضي لسي؟ سو ذات رايت اكسلنت اف وي هاف بريك واز باست تنس اوف بريك Broke. broke. If we have a drive, broke. what's the past tense? Broke. Drove. Broke. Excellent. Excellent. Now, if we want to change the sentence into negative, if we read and change the sentence from the past tense into negative, we will use the verb to change the sentence into negative. Excellent. What is it? Didn't. And we always say didn't. What is it? What can we use after didn't? What can we use? Excellent. The base of the verb. What do you mean by the base of the verb? الفعل المجرد من كل الإضافات. Now, الحسن, do you have something to say? عندك شيء تقوله أو شيء تسأل عنه? Do you have any question? Now, you don't have any question. Okay. Is it clear now? How can we use? How can we form? The sentence of the past simple. كيف ممكن أن نصيغ جملة الماضي البسيط? Subject, verb, فعل. هذا الverb ممكن يكون regular اللي هو قياسي or irregular اللي هو شاذ. ثم تكملة الجملة. Now we are. Excuse me, Mrs. Zinam. Can we say all the verbs that end with ed in the past and past participle they are called regular verbs? Regular. Yeah, you can ask them. Please. Can we say that all the verbs that end with D or ED uh, regular verbs? Can or we say that? Verbs. Or irregular? What can you say? Of course regular. they are. Yes. Regular. That's regular. right. They are regular. <coughs> so the regular is the regular. And the irregular is the regular. Now let's see. Come uh, with me to the smart board. What do we have here? At the end of the sentence, في نهاية الجملة, always we have uh, yesterday, البارحة, ago, in 1960, last, just like last, يجي بعد دائما, no, just like last okay. week, okay. last yes. month, last year, okay? Or we have in the past, في زمن الماضي, and we have said that we can change into negative uh, by using didn't, وبعد didn't, عندنا the base of the verb. Now look here. I met her six months ago. عندي بالنهاية ago. هذا دليل على أن جملتي تكون ماضي بسيط. هذه الجملة أسميها شنو؟ affirmative. affirmative بمعنى مثبتة. If we want to change into negative, I can say I didn't meet. لاحظ عزيزي الطالب. حولت الفعل met إلى مجرد. إلى ميت واي بيكوز اي هاف ديدنت بيفور ات لان عندي الفعل المساعد ديدنت قبله سو اي ديدنت ميت هير 6 مانث اجو صارت جملتي شنو نيجاتيف ديد يو ميت هير 6 مانث اجو عندي اجو حولنا الجمله الى انتروجاتيف الى استفهاميه قدمت الفعل المساعد على الفاعل اللي هو يو كل ما يكون السؤال يبدا بفعل مساعد الاجابه بيس او نو سو اي كان سي يس اي ديد اور نو اي ديدنت كان وي فورم ذا باست تنس ويز فيرب تو بي يس اوف كورس سو اي كان يوز واز اند وات اند وير اذا اي هي شي ات تاخذ الفعل واز يو وي ويو وذي تاخذ الفعل اللي هو وير So I can say she was sick yesterday. She wasn't sick yesterday. This is the negative form. حولت ال was إلى wasn't. بالسؤال أقدم الفعل المساعد على الفاعل was she sick yesterday. وإذا كان السؤال يبدأ بأحد الأفعال الإجابة yes she was or no she wasn't. Now we have present perfect simple. Present perfect simple. بمعنى المضارع التام البسيط طيب 
آه ذكرنا سابقا انه الماضي البسيط هو فاعل زائد فعل يكون اما ريجولار آه قياسي ينتهي بالدي او الاي دي او ينت yeah. او فعل ريجولار ناو وات دو وي هاف وي هاف البرفكت اوكي بيرفكت تنس اوكي اكسكيوز مي مسز انام جست اي وونت تو اسك ماي دير ستودنتس اوكي ابراهيم فؤاد ار يو وذ مي Yeah. Just I want to ask you, Ibrahim, can you tell me something about the adverbs of time with the past tense? What are the main adverbs of time with the past tense? I can use the last yes. or yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, so That's we have right. many many words and expressions to be used with the adverbs of time. Yeah. So I want to ask you, excuse me, Mrs. Anam. Yes. I want to ask you, uh, uh, how can I differentiate between the simple present and the past? Uh, the past. This is uh, the past and the present. Mm -hmm. How can I differentiate? Show me can infer between the past and the present. Uh, from the adverbs, talking about the past or the present. Not only you, even the others, even the others, okay? Mm -hmm. So how can I differentiate again when I want to say something, when I want to have a look on the sentence, yes. okay? By checking the verb, okay? Mm -hmm. The verb is root, whether it is in the past or in the present, okay? Mm -hmm. And even the uh, verb to be and the do, the does, and so on. That's yes. okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. whenever you see the verb and you see time expressions, you can uh, know if the verb is in the uh, present or in the past, right? Yeah. Now, what about yeah. the perfect? Now, the uh, perfect tense, the simple present perfect tense, al-mudara' al-tam al-basit. We have two helping verbs. What are they? Can you tell me what are the helping verbs that we no, can no, use? No, 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 no. Excellent. All of you, you are right. So we have have and has. What can we use after have and has? What can we use? Can the past participle of the verb. Excellent, Waqas. So we have the past participle of the verb, which means التصريف الثالث للفعل. Now, let's see what do we have in uh, uh, the smartphone. Now, you see that I can use I, we, you, and they. With the helping verb which is have. The contracted form, a shikl al mukhtasar huwa, apostrophe, fariza ulya, wa naqul al ve faqab. After have, we have the past participle of the verb. And what do we have also? If we have he, she, it, the helping verb will be what? Will be has. So we have has. After has, the past participle of the verb. Wa al contracted form, ili huwa apostrophe as a shikl al mukhtasar. Use the present perfect simple with just, already, never, ever, and yet. هذه الظروف هي اللي تحدد لي إنه هذا الزمن هو شنو مضارع تام. What do we have? Just, already, yet, okay, and just, already, never, and ever, and yet. Now let's see how can we use them. I have just. لاحظ just. بين الفعل المساعد والتصريف الثالث للفعل. So I can say I have just bought these jeans. She has. We have has already passed. إذا وضعنا already between the helping verb and the uh, past participle. Now tell me, dear students. When can we use yet? متى نستطيع استخدام yet؟ لما نشي تكون عندي الجملة حالتها شنو؟ Negative. Excellent. Negative. Negative or interrogative. That's right. <تصفيق> إذن when يكون موقع yet؟ دائما. In the end of the sentence. Excellent. Excellent. In the end of the sentence. Excellent. So at the end of the sentence we can use what? We can use yet. ممكن yeah. أن نضع yet. أعزائي الطلبة. في المضارع التام في نهاية الجملة المنفية أو الاستفهامية. So you can see here that we have yet 
at the end of the sentence. Why? Because the sentence is negative. لأنه جملة منفية. So it hasn't stopped raining yet. تمام? Is there any question about the present perfect tense? Can you differentiate between the present perfect tense and the simple past tense? Do not differentiate between them. The past. Uh, past simple. Mm -hmm. Don't think happened in the past. Yes, and but happened the, and the finished. Present, right? Yes, that's Since. right. Yes, what past, please? That's right. So the, the past tense. Mm. Has, uh, on effect, no. Excellent. That's right. Excellent. So, the uh, the the past tense. Something happened in the uh, in the past and ended in the past. بدأ وانتهى وين بالماضي. لكن المضارع التام بدأ بالماضي. لكن تأثيره نرى في لحظة الكلام. Okay. وعرفنا إنه شو نستخد شو نصيغ جملة المضارع التام باستخدام has or have. Plus the past participle of the verb زائدا التصريف الثالث للفعل والظروف اللي هي just already في الحالة المثبتة ever never و yet في نهاية الجملة المنفية look here you have never طبعا never هي دائما الإجابة لسؤال يحتوي على ever have you ever هل سبق لك وأن have you ever eaten something strange You can say no. I've never. We can say it in Arabic. In the مطلق يعني. That's right. In the مطلق. Now what do we have also? أيضا نستخدم هذا الزمن مع for or since. For معناها لمدة. و since معناها منذ فترة زمنية محددة. طيب. كل ما يكون عندي عدد استخدم for. So we have for three years, for two months, for three seasons. For five days, كلمة hours دائما وياها four. For the last six weeks, إذا عندي عدد. وال المدة الزمنية الغير محددة just like what for a long time لفترة طويلة. For ages لفترة طويلة. For centuries لقرون. For years, for months, for days. إذا ما كنت تحديد. تمام؟ إذا عندي تحديد. بالجملة بالزمان إذا أستخدم since اللي هي إذا عندي رقم السنة إذا since so I can say since 1990 if we have uh, July August so the name of the month اسم الشهر إذا أستخدم مع since if we have uh, اسم الفصل the name of the season I can use since the, uh, uh, the day just like Sunday Tuesday, Monday, وهكذا نستخدم شنو since. لكن إذا أنطاني عدد وكلمة days أستخدم كلمة for. Okay, just like here for five days. If we have a clock, we use since. So we have since two o'clock. But if we have hours, we use for. So I can say for five hours. Since yesterday, وقت محدد منذ البارحة كل ما يكون عندي وقت محدد استخدم yeah. since. Excellent. So we have since the last week, since his birthday, since the beginning of the school year, منذ بداية السنة, since the war, منذ الحرب. Can you tell me the differences between since and for? استخدام since and for عرفنا لحد هنا yeah. ممكن أن yes. uh, نشرح شلون uh, نفرق بيناتهم. Who can tell me? Al Hassan, can you answer my question? Or who can? Okay, Ibrahim. Ibrahim, can you answer my question? Yeah, we use the since when we talk about the start point of the time. That's right. For a specific date. Specific time. Specific time. Yes. But when we use for, it's for a period of time. When we have a period of time, فتره زمنية غير محددة, we use what? We use for, right? So if we have yeah. a clock, just like what? Two o'clock. What can we use with a clock? Four or since? since. What we can use we since. use? Since, that's right. But if we have hours, we can use what? We can four. use four. <coughs> if we have the Sunday, what can we use with Sunday? Since, since or four? Since. 
Since. Since. If we have three days, what can we use? Four. 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 That's Four. right. Excellent. So now you can know how to use since or for. Okay. So. Okay, uh, now time uh, is over for our lesson. A special thanks for the Minister of Education. شكر خاص لوزير معالي وزير التربية لمتابعة لدروسنا لهذا اليوم وشكرا لطلبتنا اللي حضروا ويانا درسنا طلبة كلية بغداد في الأعظمية. وشكرا للدكتور رياض عطا مدير الثانوية وشكرا لمعاون المرحلة الأستاذ عمار الجميلي و special thanks for our supervisor Mr. Thanks a lot Mrs. Zanam you have done your best and thanks a lot for our students for being with us thank you and thanks for all the staff شكرا لكل الكادر اللي رافقنا لهذا اليوم thank you and goodbye.